Okay, let's talk about an exciting topic, taxes, specifically the 2022 tax year for me. So I moved out of the US permanently uh, back in October of 2022. I was not expecting to get a tax saving in the 2022 tax year, but um, I did. I got um, a very nice little present in tax savings thanks to my tax accountant, uh, Greenback Tax Services. I'll put a link for them in the description. Basically, they handle uh, folks who are expats and they know all the right things to do. And they explained to me how I could get a, a tax break for being out of the country for the last quarter of 2022. Let's go over what they told me and um, I'll leave a link to them in the description. Well, not everybody likes it, a YouTube video is a PowerPoint presentation. So I had to put one in real fast. So taxes, at least for me, break down into two basic levels. As far as income taxes, there's state taxes and the federal taxes. Now specifically, I'm talking about what people call the income taxes. I'm not talking about what all the taxes like Social Security, Medicare, those things, I've got no control over those. Those are what they are. But for the category of what the IRS calls income tax, uh, they're state and federal. So for leaving the country, basically going to a beach and, and living for the last year, I was able to save, as you can see the bottom line down here, over 10,000 just taxes in three months. How is that possible? Pretty simple. So I was in Oregon. You know, one could argue maybe I should have not ever been in Oregon because of its tax rate. But Oregon has a 9.9% .9 tax rate. And I've been lucky, but I get hit with that on the high end. Just simply leaving the state, moving my residency across the river to Washington, that has no state income tax, I was able to save $1,200 a month. That was a no-brainer. Now, the trick is you have to actually leave the state. You can't just say, oh, yep, I'm moving, then I'll move. You have to move it. I called the Secretary of State's office. I got the details of how to move, how to, what I needed to do to declare myself a resident in Washington and do it legally with moving my voter registration and my uh, driver's license. That's all straightforward. You can, I, I just asked the Secretary of State and it worked for me. So that's a quick savings. So I did that before I left the country. So before I moved out of the country in October of last year, I had already moved my residency over to Washington. Then the federal taxes. I've talked about this on the channel before, the uh, tax item called a foreign earned income exclusion. Sorry, that's actually exclusion, not exemption here. But here, let me make that bigger for you. That's exclusion. Uh, last year it was $112,000 a year. And this year it'll be 120,000. I was only out for the last quarter last year. So I don't get to do the 112, but well, I got to do 28,000. So that's right off the top of my income, 28,000 just deducted. Then you can, you know, you've got your standard deduction and your 401ks and all the other, but this is its own deduct deductible category. You take 28,000 right off the top for the last three months of 2022. Of course, this information is meaningless to you uh, for 2022, but if you're a partial resident outside the country, hopefully it'll be helpful in 2023 for you, which is even more, it's under 20,000 for the whole year in 2023. So just at a 24% tax bracket, which is where most professionals are if they're married filing jointly nowadays, um, that's 6,000. So total savings of $10,000. How does this work? So to claim foreign income, you have to be either uh, a bona fide resident, which is from year, uh, January 1st to January 1st. So that doesn't really work because I left in October. There's another test called the physical presence test, where if you're out of the country for a solid year, it can, doesn't have to be January to January. As long as you're out for an entire year, you can claim all or part of that year as foreign earned income. Now there's some rules that come into play here. You have to be out of the country for at least 331 days during that year. So starting October 1st of last year, I counted every day I was back in the US and avoided coming back to the US at all costs. And I managed to stay out. So I was not in the US for very often, frankly. I was out of it for over 331 days. But you have to be careful. You have to count. There's no partial days. If you step foot in the US or fly over US airspace, even, there's all sorts of rules. I'll let you read them in the IRS guidelines. Talk to your tax advisor on that. But you have to be careful. You have to track it. I kept pictures of my 
boarding passes for both going, coming and going in and out of the U.S. So I always had proof of my flights. Uh, so that happened for October to October. So how I managed to cut down on the 2022 taxes, this is all based off tax advice from, from Greenback, is I calculated what I would have to pay if I did indeed manage to stay out of the country for 331 days in, uh, in October. And I did this back towards the beginning of the year, back in uh, you know March and April timeframe, because I thought I had to file on April 15th. As it actually turns out, as I expect, you don't have to file until 2015 or sorry, June 15th, which is uh, awesome. So, but I did all those calculations and I paid before June 15th what I calculated I would owe. And of course, I didn't do the calculations. Greenback did my calculations and I paid that amount. So I made sure everything was paid. It was a small amount uh, compared to what I normally have to pay. And then I filed an extension. Even though I paid, I still filed the extension and waited until October of 2023 this year. And then after I had the documentation and have been out of the country for over a year, then I could file the taxes. And I had to file them before October 15th. So there's a little bit of a waiting game there. I stayed out, filed it, taxes on October 15th. I had already paid. And I got that big tax savings, moderate tax savings, because of following this process. It's fairly simple. You can do it for you know, any part of the year, obviously October is kind of the deadline. You've got to, you know, be out of it before the last quarter. Otherwise you won't have enough uh, time from on your year to year. But that's how I managed to save money on taxes for 2022. Really looking forward to filing taxes in 2023 where I've been out for an entire year and that's 120,000 of my income. So as you can see from that, it's really easy to save money. Uh, you just have to move to a beach or a beach outside the U.S., or move to anywhere you want. The trick is you have to be outside of the U.S., you have to track your time, you have to be outside for 331 days or more in that year, and um, you have to also pick a country to make this work that you don't get taxed in yourself, because there's no point in going to, let's say, I'm just pulling this out, so don't, this is not tax advice, this is just an, ex an example that I think may be correct. There's no point in going to Germany, for example, where you're going to get hit with a huge tax bill from Germany to save on U.S. taxes. One of the reasons I'm not in Colombia, which is a beautiful country, um, is because Colombia, if you're there for more than 185 days, you're tax residents and you're hit with a fairly hefty tax, higher than what I would probably have to pay in the U.S. So there's no point in that. You have to pick a country that doesn't tax your foreign earned income to live. And Ecuador happens to be one of those countries, and there's not that many. Um, UAE is one, there, there's others. Ecuador is just a nice little spot. It's in the same time zone as uh, Eastern US and um, it's got some nice beaches and some nice mountain cities. So that's what I picked, that's how I'm saving money. And I hope you find this information useful because I'm certainly having fun and I hope you can uh, find this useful and have fun too. Um, hopefully my next video won't be such a long delay. I've got some fun flights coming up and I'll try to give you a report on those. Take care and thanks for watching.